Well, hello to all my awesome YouTube fans. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning today's awesome vlog. If you care about what I'm doing today in my room today, I want to apologize to all of you about my camera is not focusing right. The cuddles are just awful and I don't know what to do with this Panasonic cam cuddle. I may look like I'm going to have to buy one in some point. But today's vlog is going to talk about my computer case, the wire management, and trying to make the case look a whole lot cleaner on the inside. And trust me, I am not a master uh, wiring job or anything like that to kind of keep everything is clean. But this case is a good case for a budget system. But if you want good cable management, I recommend a different type of case. Not this one here. But it's still a good case. But when you add more wires and stuff like that, is just trying to figure out where to hide and cable management all the cables. But let's go ahead and show you what I mean, shall we? Yeah, I have a couple questions for all of you out there. I'm trying to figure out should I modify my side panel or should I look for a different side panel to replace the original side panel like this one? Because it would look so nice if it had a uh, plexiglass where you can kind of see the lights in the unit itself. But remember, I didn't do all the upgrades on this machine. I did half of the upgrades over in 2018, and it's been a very uh, good computer, and it's been working just fine. But the care management, I am still learning and still trying to figure out how to make the cables look nicer because if I add a longer video called, the cables have to kind of be out of the way. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean. You guys and girls can see this. This is my main uh, desktop computer. This is a computer I've been using for a while now for all sorts of different things. And it does look a little cleaner. I'm not saying it looks 100% perfect but you know what it sure does fit the need of this computer case now this motherboard can go up to 64 gigs of ram uh, basically that's the max but i only have 32 in this motherboard right now and it looks fantastic yeah basically and it looks very nice now the other questions would these controllers be in the way if I do get a longer uh, video card to be put in this uh, computer case, uh, basically? Just trying to figure out some different ideals for this uh, computer as well. A couple of questions. If I do upgrade to the i7 processor in this uh, machine itself, would I switch out the air cooling system with a liquid cooler or should I just continue to use my air cooled uh, heatsink itself, the one I have in my computer right now. But the care management looks very clean, looks very nice. But again, this case is not really designed uh, for a lot of thicker cables because the side panel on the back of it would be a little bit more tricky to get on and off. But let's go ahead and show you what the back of the computer looks like for you can see where all of my cables are basically hidden instead of shoved all different places in the case itself. Let's go. Now this is the on side of my uh, computer itself. If you kind of notice, I've been kind of working on the care management and trying to make it look fantastic itself. Now I do have some extra wires over here kind of bundled up and zip tied off to the side over here. And I got some extra long cables I kind of 
have to zip tie a little bit and that's trying to make it look very nice now typically you don't put these cables this way but that's okay because that's where I had to put my fan uh, cables basically because my controller was right over here uh, basically these are my SATA cables I have two of them right here one goes to the octo drive and one goes to my hard drive down here and these two uh, thick little kind of cables you kind of see here these are all my card reader uh, cables, uh, basically the USB 3 uh, cables. And it looks uh, pretty well darn clean, uh, should I say. But I am still trying to work on it and trying to make it look a little bit better uh, for care management and stuff like that. But it still looks pretty good. A lot of you have seen this computer multiple times on my channel but that's a good idea and that's very cool but basically a couple of questions for all of you if I do uh, get a 1060 graphics card would I have to upgrade my power supply in my machine but remember it's only a 500 watt power supply but it's a couple of options I can go with I can go with a half module power supply or even a full module power supply itself now if i upgrade to the i7 do i have to switch out my heatsink the air cooled heatsink to a liquid one or do i just keep my original air cooled heatsink let me know because that will be also very awesome but this computer is freaking amazing but this is basically more of a budget system when you physically build it you can upgrade it however you choose now again everything looks very fantastic and the wiring looks hmm, a little bit clean all but I'm just trying to make it as clean as I can well, what do you think it looks pretty well nice okay this is the 500 watt power supply would I have to upgrade that if I do get the i7 do I have to upgrade this that is a question I don't know because remember it's really not enough options in this case to really put a liquid system or a liquid cool uh, in this computer without losing my card reader or basically losing a lot of uh, space because the problem is I want to make sure this machine is staying as cool as it can and make sure it's not going to get overly hot well, basically again I got my fans blowing out this way a Zox going this way to kind of keep the machine as cool as I can looks fantastic here's the thing call me old school I don't much mind it I still use CDs, I still use DVDs, and I still use Blu-ray because I still have some of that old uh, media over on my shelf over there and I still like using that kind of stuff. I can go out to a store and I can just buy the CD or the Blu-ray or the DVD, okay? I don't have to rent it on Netflix, I don't have to buy it off of Netflix. I don't need to stream music, I don't need to stream Netflix or anything like that. I can still do a lot of stuff with old school media. It's nothing wrong with that. And by the way, companies are still making CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, uh, DVD drives, and Blu-ray drives. Got news for you. I understand a lot of people say, who needs older media? when you got new uh, tech and stuff. Oh, and the other question is, you're always gonna be behind on technology. It doesn't matter if you try to keep up with it, you're always gonna be behind on it because tech is always going to change. For example, like this motherboard and the heel can only support uh, the seven generation processors but not the 8th gen processors. 
And I know some of you are going to say, oh, Chris, you should have got the i7 instead of the Pentium. But I understand that. But here's the thing. The i7 is still a bit more expensive than the Pentium. And yes, the Pentium is only two cores, but I should have gone with the i5 or maybe the i7. But you know what? This machine still can edit perfectly fine on two cores. But if you need more cores and stuff like that to play video games and stuff, hey, go right ahead. But I'm telling you, you're always going to be behind on technology. It doesn't matter when you build your machine or how you price out all the different parts to put your machine together, you're always going to be behind on technology itself. But uh, if you guys and girls are also brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. And have a nice day. Catch you later in the future vlog.